What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. I will be live tonight on Overtime. Joey will not be there. He has a previous engagement he'll be at. As always, if anybody wants to ever join Overtime, just hit me up on email. I'll send you the link. Come in. Should be about an hour tonight, Tops. Um, most I'm going to cover what you see here on your screen because this is pretty much uh, just some stuff really to look at. A lot of people like the charts and everything, so I wanted to get this put out. It's a PSA pop report. And if you look to the left side, everything from this year to the end of July, and then to the right, you're talking everything from August through uh, October this year. And when you look at the amount of cards that's been graded, it, it's it's a big chunk. I mean, you're talking from August through October, they've graded 2.1 million cards. Uh, good bit. Very, very good bit of uh, cards out there. It's been graded. And they keep going up more and more each month, which is a good thing for us because they're catching up. We're getting our stuff back. I mean, some of the bad news is stuff is going down in value. But, you know, it, it just got to do what you got to do with what we have out there. I mean, it, it sucks for a lot of different reasons. And sometimes it turns out to be good, too. I mean, at first, I know them holding product for a while. The next thing you know, you know, stuff tripled or quadrupled. You made more money. All right, as you look at this here, the three things you guys can see at basically are highlighted are basketball, soccer, TCG, which is like your Pokemon stuff. Those three there have had significant increases in percentages of what's being graded. Basketball was expected that way. Soccer has gone up, and Pokemon has really gone up. Now, what's gone down? Football. But 3%, that's normal, depending on what products store in this span and stuff like that for those three months could be one reason. Um, baseball, huge cut from 51.1% down to 22.7%. Now, part of this is going to be <clears throat> that a lot of the products that came out during that time frame, a lot of people didn't grade. People started hurry up seeing there was a surge into basketball, soccer, and Pokemon pushed a big chunk through too. You know, you really have to go back and dig through, try to figure out where these submissions might have came at during that time frame, what products were out, what was hot during that time frame. But big drop off in baseball, we're going to continue to see that because we don't have a huge rookie card class where it's like we got to hurry up and chase all these dudes. Uh, I know a lot of people like Jared Kelnick, but, uh, you know, Hopefully he does better next year. He came out, and yeah, I guess you could say he improved. He really couldn't go down anymore in what he did. But when you think about it across the board, <clears throat> next year, you know, Wander Franco is going to be your big name across the board. He should be in Series 1 and push up. So as PSA reopens, I can only imagine a lot of stuff's going to shift in percentages yet again. But... During a lot of this here, when you look at it, it was expected to go up or go down, uh, mostly because basketball was extremely hot and the prices were just going stupid crazy. So people pushed more basketball in because the stuff was what the, what everybody likes to use the word liquid. I'm not a real fan of saying it was liquid, but it was stuff that was hot and selling. Uh, soccer picked up some... Uh, Big push during this time frame, too. Uh, you got Holland, mostly at what is in there. I want to say Mbappe. and ooh, There might have been a couple other ones that really took off as to where we're now looking at like Makoko, Camavinga, uh, Jude. I'm trying to think. I probably missed a name or two, but those are just the ones that come right off at me. And, of course, Pokemon, a lot of that. A big push, you know, also because Logan Paul did his videos live, opening the stuff up, which gained more momentum. I mean, if you really go and look and start tracking PSA 10, like Charizards that everybody wants, to just look at the values onto it. They're still up from what they were before COVID, but they've somewhat taken a little uh, dips down here and there and stuff, which we all knew was going to come out. Um, even hockey went down during that time frame. I mean, when you're talking, you know, your first seven months, you had 1.5 million and during 90 days, you only did 34,000. You know, it just all depends on the product, a rookie card class. 
the time of the year, all that stuff all comes into play onto it. But I know a lot of people like these charts and everything. Just wanted to push this out so you can see that during different stages, we're going to have different percentages of what's gone in more, what's hot due to the market, um, due to what's collecting, the releases, and everything like that. All right, everybody. You guys have a good weekend. Hopefully, you guys can stop by, say hello on overtime. Don't forget Sunday. Uh, check beforehand for the point spreads on Gridiron. And that is about it. Oh, archives and update. Is that still out for delivery? If and when it shows up, I'll put it in the store for everybody. It'll be update hobby and then archives hobby boxes. I also got in some Pokemon Evolving Skies booster boxes or whatever they're called. I think they're booster boxes. Yeah, they're not ETBs. I know that. All right, you guys have a good weekend. Stay safe out there. And I'll catch you all tonight. If not tomorrow, 10,000 um, pop on or 10,000 uh, club for PSA will be out. I just got to finish up a few more notes on it. All right, guys. See you all next video.